of stories to tell you when you're older. This is so beautiful. I don't even know where to begin. She starts talking about Joel, I'm really gonna lose it. Hey guys! I'm Anna Roses, and welcome to the episode of The Last of Us Part 2. Last time we played was a really dark and really intense episode. I honestly needed a little while to recover after everything that happened. Um, Lev ran off to the island where his um, mom and the rest of his people are from. And so um, Abby and Yara went to go and try and rescue him. And along the way, we just saw so much darkness in the people there. Stuff that was like so much worse than anything the zombies and the clickers have ever done. Um, Yara ended up dying, and so now Lev is left alone. Lev's mother is also dead. Lev accidentally ended up killing his mom because his mom, like, went after him just for, you know, deciding to change his gender role. Um, and yeah, so Abby managed to rescue Lev, but along the way we saw these scars and the wolves basically completely decimate each other. I don't think anybody is surviving that. I don't know if anybody should at this point. Like, some of the things that were happening were just so incredibly terrible to witness. Uh, yeah, so not leaving a lot of hope in humanity at this point. And then, of course, we come back from that and find uh, that Abby's friends are dead killed by Ellie as we we saw earlier in the game and just you know experiencing it from Abby's point of view was really really difficult as well so now we are at the movie theater um or just the theater and I think this is going to be the actual confrontation between Abby and Ellie and I have no idea how it's going to go beyond what we saw earlier in the game so I'm sure this is going to be really intense too but let's play <laughs> Yeah, this is, this is a big moment in the game. Um, I don't know what's gonna happen from here. I don't know how much is left, but Still with yeah. Lev. Lev is here with Abby, which uh, is interesting, but I guess Abby can't leave Lev alone at this point. I mean. Keep looking. Typical. <laughs> There's never an easy entrance. Interesting, I can't put the gun down while I'm looking for another way in. Uh, I also can't use the flashlight, so... Yeah, I don't know how far we have to go to get in. Ah, here we go. Okay, grab that ladder. Ready? We're getting so close to the awful moment between right. Abby and, Ale and Ellie, like, when she, uh, when Abby kills Jesse. All of her friends. The people that, uh, Ellie has killed. been tracking us oh yeah she doesn't realize uh, yet who did this I'm curious to know what happened wow so far like one person <laughs> Oh, even that person. Wow. 
I mean, there are some survivors. But not many. Careful. Stay close. I feel like Lev needs to stay out of this. Like, why is Lev coming in with Abby? But honestly, if Lev loses Abby, I mean, he'll have nobody left, so... I don't know, maybe he wants to stay with her. Get where the exit is now. Ah, here we go. I have so much, like, anticipation about what's coming. This is a big showdown, I have no idea how it's gonna go. Oh god, here it goes. Oh wait. Will you see this, you son of a bitch? No. What's gonna happen to Tommy? Back away from your shit. I said back up! Oh, please don't hurt Tommy. I kinda I didn't realize that we don't know what happens to him. Don't fucking turn around. Love keep your bow on him. Get on the ground. Kill me like a coward. Oh. Oh. You fucking people. Oh. Oh, there it is. Oh my god. Stand up. Hands in the air, I shoot this one too. Don't you do it, Ellie. Get out of here. Stand up. Now. Don't you fucking dare. Shut the fuck No. Up. Not again. This is just like the moment. It's just like how Joel died. Toss your weapon. Toss your weapon! Fuck. No, no. I know why you killed Joel. He did what he did to save me. There's no cure because of me. I am the one that you want. Just let him go. You killed my friends. She killed. After killing Joel, though? <gasps> oh! No! No! No, no! Tommy's dead? Fucking everybody is dying! Oh, God. Every, like, ounce of goodwill that Abby just built- has built up just is gone. It's just never ending killing each other. Like, you know, seeing everything from her perspective for so long, you kind of, I was like, I, I still hate some of the decisions she made, but you start to kind of like understand her and maybe hate her a little bit less. And all of that is gone now. I mean, after killing Tommy, after making that choice. Oh. Ugh, fuck. I mean, they just, Don't you fucking like, neither die. one has any justice here. Like. Neither one of them is justified at this point. I mean, Joel killed the people. They wanted to kill Ellie, and so Joel killed them, and so now she went and killed Joel, and so now Ellie went and killed all of Abby's people, and now Abby is trying to kill more of Ellie's people. Like, it's just never ending. You can't, neither one of them can feel justified in what they've done at this point. Like, they've just killed too many people. Is, re is this really, re like, you know, where does the revenge end? I just have no- we still are playing as Abby. This is kind of insane. Like, I don't want- I don't want to be Abby right now because I don't want her to win. Like, fucking God. like, what, am I supposed to try and take Ellie down? Like, I don't want to take Ellie down. <laughs> Like, what is the end goal here? Oh. 
Ugh, what am I supposed to do here? Like, I don't want, I don't want to take her down. I don't want to strike her. This is terrible. Like, what choice do I have at this point? Ugh. Like, I don't want to even play this at this point. I really expected to sit back to. Ugh. I like. I don't even want. <laughs> I don't want to win here. I, don't, I really expected that we would come back and be Ellie again at this point, but we're still Abby. We're still following her perspective. It's like. <laughs> Motherfucker! This is so... This is so weird. God damn it. This is crazy. This is so weird. I can't believe... I can't believe I'm Ellie right now. Like, the, I mean, I can't believe we're hunting Ellie right now. Where did she go? Ah, this is scaring me. You're a fucking coward. I think this has got to be one of the weirdest, like. Situations ever. I'm like in a bad cycle right now. I can't I can't catch up to her. Oh, damn. I had a moment there. Oh god. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. This is this is this is, I don't know, this is just... Chasing Ellie now? Like, I just. Come on. This is so weird. Come oh, on! Okay. Damn it. <laughs> okay, so we are still hunting Ellie, not. We're still being hunted by Ellie. Oh, God, this is insane. This is really weird.
time. Oh. Oh. This is so horrible. Oh my god. Oh, no, not Dina too. Are you kidding me? No, stop, stop. killing everybody. No, no. Please, please don't do this. Don't do it. Ugh. Don't ever let me see you again. She's leaving. going to survive this? What happens now? Who, who, who do we, like, who are we now? Like, are we Abby? Are we Ellie? I don't even... Looks like we're finally back to Ellie. Baby, it's okay. I don't know why, I, I mean, I can guess why, but I like, I actually feel like crying right now. The fact that this, like, baby, after all of that violence, has okay. made it through. We're good. They lost everybody. <laughs> after, like, all of that horrible stuff that happened, like, to see this, this baby left. This, like... Yeah. Oh, my God. Like, look at how happy he looks, like... Oh my god. I... I can't believe, like, everybody is dead, aren't they? Tommy, I think he's done. And yet... Who's that handsome fellow, huh? Somehow Ali can still smile now. Wow. Our work is beautiful. Hey, you like these guys, huh? <laughs> some crazy hair. I have such a mess right now. I'm like, do I want to cry? Do I want to laugh? Do I want to smile? Do I want to like yell and scream? Like, I feel like angry and some moments of joy and sad, but oh God. Dina, I'm in the kitchen. Thank God Dina's still alive. And thank God Ellie is still alive. That was oh, what's up, you little goobers. Hey, that was way too close. Thanks for doing the dishes. You can thank me by putting on some music. Yeah, I'll see what I can do. I feel like I've been absolutely destroyed. <laughs> My dear Dina, thank you for your letter in the photograph. JJ's gotten so big already. He's got Jesse's smile. If he's anything like his dad, well, good luck. I can't wait to visit you. My back has been acting up again, but I'm on the mend. The doctor still thinks I need a few more weeks of rest. As soon as I can, I will be there. I appreciate the tender words in your letter. I will say what I hope is obvious. Jesse wouldn't blame you for what happened and neither do any of us. We love you. You're a part of our family. Be well. There will always be a place for you, Ellie and JJ back in Jackson, should you ever change your mind. Love, Robin. Wow, okay. Honestly, I mean, I'm happy they don't blame them for what happened, but I'm also like surprised at how forgiving they've been. 
I mean, this was all like a revenge crusade and it killed so many people. Like, I don't know. I mean, I guess, you know, Jesse made his own choices and uh, I mean, they all loved Joel and wanted to get, you know, get help or like, you know, if, I don't know, get revenge, I guess. But yeah, wow. I'm, I'm happy that they're, they found a place of forgiveness and an ability to move forward. Um, I think uh, it's interesting. I wonder where they're living now. I guess they needed, really need some space up, maybe all, too many reminders in the town of Jackson of all the people they lost. Also, I think it's beautiful that the baby's name is JJ for Jesse and Joel to people they lost. It's also very beautiful just to see this house, like Dina doing the dishes, a task that is just completely normal and her and Ellie like living together. You know? This house is just beautiful in general. I mean, all the art supplies everywhere. I wonder who that is. Say hi to your Auntie Talia. Hi, Auntie Talia. <laughs> <laughs> Man, tough crowd. <laughs> That's kind of beautiful seeing Allie like taking caring for this, you know, adorable baby <laughs> after everything, like after how dark and violent things got at the end there. Or for Ellie, like how far into darkness she went. To now see her this like other side of her. Some tunes. Ah, oh, you want a boogie, huh? All right. It's just very jarring at the same time, though, to have this like peaceful, beautiful, like existence right after all of the violence that we just experienced. I love this song. Your mom is very easy to please. I'm with you. My bar is very low. <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> they're Ooh, look at those very, moves. very sweet together. Moves? Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, look at mama go. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> This is kind of working on me. You're weird. I'm aware. Okay. Okay, you're distracting me. No. <laughs> okay. All right. Go. Okay. <laughs> oh, hey. I think I left Ollie outside. You mind bringing him back in? Yeah, sure thing. They're so, like, normal. It's so weird. Where is he? Pretty sure he's on the tractor. Ollie on a tractor? Does that mean they have a dog? That's like that's the one thing they're missing in this perfect little world. You want some fresh air? This place is beautiful. <sighs> wow. This is genuinely stunning. Oh my god. They have sheep. Wow. What a beautiful, beautiful place. No matter what the darkness that humans choose to do, there's always beauty in nature. Hey guys! <laughs> Say hey to the sheep, JJ. They're so cute! Hey, Look at the sheep. baby! <laughs> wow. What a beautiful ranch. This reminds me a little bit of um, episode three of the TV show, you know, the kind of love story they developed there. On their own remote little farm, just living out their lives. Oh God, I cannot get over how beautiful this is. It's very realistic too, like it very much looks like what, you know, like what this would look, it's just, yeah, very realistic. Oh wow, even that is beautiful too.
Oh. Hey, Ollie. What are you doing out here? Ollie's a... Uh... Aw. Hang on, buddy. Yeah, there we go. Hmm. That's pretty, right? Hey, you know what? I'm gonna teach you how to play guitar. Hmm. When your hands are bigger. And you're not pooping your pants all the time. It's all right. Everybody does it. <laughs> a lot of stories to tell you. When you're older. This is so beautiful. <laughs> I was talking about Joel, I'm really gonna lose it. <laughs> potato, potato, my little big potato. Potato, my potato, my little buddy potato. What a big boy. Yeah, that's my buddy. I just like, God, this is so much like emotion. <laughs> like, I feel like, oh, there's just tears for like everything that happened, tears for where they are right now, like for the horror, for the ugliness and the beauty. All right, little spud. We should go check out mama. I'm gonna go hang up the laundry. Oh, my back. You mm. got that? Yeah, I got it. Oh, her injury. You think he needs his jacket? Ah, he's fine. <laughs> this is just so normal. Like, you know, the, the their little garden, the animals, doing the laundry. Like, it's so peaceful. More? <laughs> you can tell me to stop. They're clearly very in love. Should I stop? Okay, enough. Seriously? <laughs> <laughs> Ellie really wants it! <laughs> Look at how cute this is! You wanna pet him? Here. Uh, Alright, here you go. Uh -huh. oh, 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 gentle, gentle, gentle. Oh. Here you go. That is so adorable! After seeing all the dogs that died before, it's really beautiful to have some animals too. I can do it. Yeah? Yeah. Why don't you rest it up? <laughs> okay, here. Come on, put you in there. I forget kind of how young they are. Like, Don't stay she can't be much older than like maybe her early twenties at most. The herding master. Oh, <laughs> do we get to herd the sheep now? Listen up, sheep. Your dinner awaits you in the barn. So come <laughs> on. <laughs> this is fun. Snowy. We get to herd the sheep, head. including the little baby. Head on in. Oh, we're just kind of going on their own. I don't even have to work with that guy. Oh my god, they're. What do you think that is? Balls are huge. They really added in all the realistic details, I guess. Two. Better stop, because I'm getting. Stuck. Looks like these are udders. Oh my god, that's so funny. I guess I've never seen a sheep like this before. 
Todd. Move it or lose it. <sighs> Todd. We definitely have way too many sheep. I don't know. Is there such a thing as too many sheep? Hey, what do you say if we eat some of them? <laughs> Tasty snack. <gasps> Warm enough, buddy? Just a few more. I got one for you. What's the quietest animal on a farm? This guy's going on his own. Sheep. When you're older, you're gonna have a deep appreciation for these jokes. Uh-huh. Just like Allie. Okay, guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Oh, hey. where's the baby? How'd you get out? Oh, he's so cute and small. Come on, little dude. God, that scared the living hell out of me. Right, come on, little guy. This whole oh, thing yeah. is scaring the hell out of me. Is this? <gasps> wait. Wait, wait, wait. Was that even real? What? What is happening right now? I'm so scared. What is happening? What is real? Why? Why are we here again? Okay. <laughs> I suddenly was like, is this gonna be like some kind of I don't know psychological thing where she's not even none of this was even real in the first place? God, the trauma she's experienced. I'm sorry. I don't know. I don't know what. I was just bringing in the. It's okay. I can't even imagine, like, the pain, the panic. What she's feeling right now. Excitement in a while. I thought for a second we might be switching to Abby. Okay. I wonder, like, I kind of thought this was going to be like a short epilogue or something, but like, we're seeing a lot here. Like, I wonder how far they're gonna go in this part of her life. Like, how much of a part of the game is, is, or is this stage, you know? I honestly thought we might end it after that scene on the tractor, but I'm like, I'm just not sure where things are going right now. Are we gonna see Abby again? Yeah, like, I, I don't know, I kind of thought, I was like, okay, this is it. This is what the end of the game is. This is the resolution. But it seems like there's more. Hey, you. Who are you here with? Hey, 
Where you been? Hunting. Took a little longer than I thought. Who's here? Uh, just come inside. <laughs> Tommy! <gasps> Oh my god, Tommy's alive! Oh my god, what a relief! I like, I was like blocking that out of my memory. I was like, I can't even process Tommy also being dead. Just like that. Oh my god, Tommy's alive. Oh. It's good to see you. you too. Wow. Everything happened so quick, I didn't even really have like, the mo like a space to really grieve what happened to him. I'm so happy he's alive. Sounds good. Are you good? Oh, she's fine. We uh, we're taking some time apart. Hmm. Mm. Sorry. Nah. We talked about it a lot, and uh, yeah, it's what we both want. So. <clears throat> That's not really what he wants. <laughs> Come sit. I got something to show you. So I've been putting out feelers for months now. And this new guy heard my story. He told me about a woman that he traded with while he was moving through California. Is he looking for Abby? He's built like an ox. Yes. Scars across his face. He said they're living along this coast in a beach sailboat. Right here. That's got to be her. We're done with that, Sarah. So. Yeah. Ellie has a life now. Like, I know what happened between them was horrible, but can Ellie really go back into that? Either, honestly, I don't think either one of them should go. What is it going to do but leave Lev another child alone? Reckon it's easy. Forget about her. You sitting all comfy way out here? Hey. <sighs> I'll make her pay. Tommy. That's what you said when we got back to Jackson. Tommy. What a joke. Can you take him, please? Wow. That was really, really intense. I have a lot of thoughts on this, which I will share when things kind of calm down a little bit, but... Wow. Yeah. about this but I'm gonna save it for when we get a little more like space also I'm not sure what's gonna happen next I mean is Ellie gonna change her mind all right I want to share my two cents here on why I think Ellie made the right decision um for a few reasons. First off, I mean, they went for revenge. They took that path and all it led to was more death and like a never ending cycle of, of revenge. Like, I feel like a God of War quote is very um, um, well placed here, but like the cycle must end. I think what they've shown us through this whole story is that violence just breeds more violence. And if she continues, if she goes down this path, it's just gonna lead to more death and destruction. I mean, right now we have if we think, take the people aside, take Ellie and Abby and everything they've done aside, like we've got two children who are being cared for and loved. And if they continue down this path, that's gonna be lost. Like these these children, it's gonna go into the next generation, you know, they're gonna lose, it's just gonna be loss on every side. And 
And uh, so from that perspective, I don't think she should go. I think they need to leave it rest. But from the perspective of, of like wanting revenge, I feel like revenge has been gotten already. Ellie killed all of Abby's friends and family, everybody she cared about. So Abby is feeling the consequences of her action. And I think being dead is less of a punishment than having to live with all of these people being killed because of you and because of your choices. So I feel like, like Abby has received her revenge. <laughs> so that's my thoughts. I don't think they should go after it. I have a feeling a lot of people will disagree and I don't know what I, uh, Ellie's about to choose right now, but I feel like revenge, okay, she's choosing to stay. I feel like revenge has been had. More violence will just breed more violence. It'll never end. And we are like prioritizing the lives of these children right now. <laughs> I mean, it's not over yet, though. I don't know where Tommy is. Yeah. Hmm. The drawings are beautiful. Especially the moth. Jesse's parents came out today. It was nice at first. They're good people. But then they started pushing for us to move back to Jackson. I couldn't handle it and I left for the woods. I didn't come back until late at night. Dina stayed up for me. I could tell she was mad, but she grabbed my hand and led me to bed. I feel so guilty. It happened again. I was hunting this boar and I'd cornered it in an old gas station. It was bleeding out, screaming. It sounded like him. Then I couldn't get the images out of my head. I left it there dying. My skin hurts. Like, this is, this is what's come of this, just, like, horror. <laughs> when does it get quiet? Time was supposed to extinguish the desire. Haunted by your smiles, the mask keeps getting heavier. One step forward, two steps back. There's a noose around my neck, and the further I get, it's harder and harder to breathe. Can I find a way to cut the cord? I've been waiting for dawn, but the light is all gone. Don't know if I'm already blind. Can I leave it all behind? Is this her poetry? Happened again. Got rid of the images pretty quickly, but my skin hurt the rest of the morning. I gave up trying to go back to sleep. Dina stayed up with, with me. Will this stop? I don't know how Dina talks so easily about Jesse. She tells JJ all about him. She thinks it'd be good for me to talk about Joel, to get it out. When she says that, it makes the memory sound like food poisoning. I don't want to talk about it. It's just going to hurt. And I think once I'd start, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to stop. Took JJ on a ride today. He laughed the whole time. I almost didn't think about Seattle all day. It was nice. I didn't realize all of this art was Ellie's. It's beautiful. God, she's struggling so much already. I, I don't... Yeah. Really interesting artwork. I'm not sure what, I, what to look for right now. She's cold, okay. What are we supposed to do with that?
I wish I knew how to play, like anything, you know? It sounds beautiful, even though I'm just playing absolute nonsense, like, <laughs> I don't think it still sounds pretty. You can really see the pain on Ellie's face. Oh, I thought we were just randomly strumming. <laughs> Jackson. Hmm. This will be a while later, maybe. Her hair has grown back. Oh, this is in the past. Oh, Jesse. Tell me about it. Wow. I was like, Ellie looks so different. She looks so much more at peace. What happened? Another big lecture about my patrols. Don't go here, don't go there. It's funny how involved you get whenever you're scheduled to go out. Yeah. She's, uh, putting on quite the show. <laughs> I give you guys two weeks until you're back together. Not gonna <laughs> happen. Not this time. She, uh, say something to you? Make it one week. Ellie! Hey! What took you so long? Well, I'm here, aren't I? <laughs> this fight is with somebody entirely different. Hey, don't forget, we're heading out early, so get some rest. Yes, sir. <sighs> yeah, I don't think Dina is flirting with him anymore. Why don't you start with me? Okay, I have a very serious question for you. How bad do I smell? <sighs> like a hot pile of garbage? Oh. Ellie has a funny way of flirting. <laughs> How about that? Gross. Room is staring at you right now. Maybe they're staring at you. They're not. <laughs> Maybe they're jealous of you. <laughs> I'm just a girl, not a threat. <laughs> is that so? He does good. <laughs> this bold, I love it. I mean, that's hot. Taking charge like that. <laughs> oh, hey. look at Ellie's smile. It's a family event. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. I hope he wouldn't do something like that. I hope he's not. Remember Judging them for being kids around. Yeah, like you're setting such a great example. Oh, just with this. Oh yeah, what about all the other couples? Loud mouth dyke. <gasps> what the fuck Whoa. Did you just say? Ellie, hey. Ellie, don't. Get the hell out of here. Get your hands off. Joel. Me. I was hey. wondering if we were gonna see him again. Enough. Go on, you. Let's go for a walk. What about them? You worry about yourself. Let's get you some fresh air. Oh, God, even in this community. What's wrong with you? What? He had no right. And you do? I don't need your fucking help, Joel. Oh. After everything we know, like, these are the last memories she has with Joel? Right. 
Oh my god, his face is breaking my heart. Oh no. This is so breaking my heart. I'm gonna start crying again. Like the look on his face. This is this is like could they not give us something good right now? Is she leaving? Where she's leaving. Is she really going through with it? Are they gonna leave Dina alone? Hey. Man, it's been a while since he slept this long, huh? He had a day. Yeah. He's fine. Go back to bed. We'll talk about it in the morning. I have to finish it. Oh, poor Dina. You don't owe Tommy anything. I don't sleep. I don't eat. I'm not like you, Dina. What? You think this is easy? For you and for him, I deal with it. I love you. Prove it. Stay. I can't. So what? I'm just supposed to, to sit here and wait for you? For God knows how long, just thinking you're fucking dead the entire time? I don't plan on dying. Yeah, well, neither does <laughs> Jesse. Or Joel. Yeah. Neither did anybody. Stop. Hey. Hey. Come on. We've got a family. She doesn't get to be more important than that. Wow, I really thought Ellie was gonna stay. I'm not gonna do this again. That's up to you. Ellie. Just gonna leave everything behind? Wow, I really did not think that's how it was gonna happen. Oh, I really did not think we were gonna go here. I thought the game was like over at that point. I just, I just don't think this is a choice that Joel would want her to make. I mean, Joel sacrificed everything. 24, 25. Oh. 24, 25. Okay. We're back with That's Abby. Good. Now we just need. Oh, I checked this street a week ago. I can't believe you traded a pistol for this. It's a lead. No way that. What are they looking for? Over here. Oh, they're looking for the fireflies? Well, I don't. Come on. Wow, Lev looks grown up. 24, 10. It's not going to be on that side. It's all evens. 24, 0, 9. I forget what number we're looking for. 24, 25. Wow, look at this place. <laughs> really interesting landscape to be in after after so long in Seattle. It's really. Oh. Oh, it's a zombie. I thought we were done. I'm sh I'm. I am absolutely shocked right now. Uh, 
Oh. Damn. I probably should not have done that. We're almost out of bullets. My bad. All right. We're good. Maybe I should have done that with stealth, but... This is so weird. I really thought... I thought the game was ending with Ellie. Where? Where the hell is the clicker? Ah. Well, I'm kind of out of bullets at this point. <laughs> Probably should have used stealth. I just feel like this is really, really jarring. Okay, so we do have more ammo. Well, that was silly of me. My bad. Yeah. Oh, this is so weird. Yes, you did. Keep your guard up. Let's go back to finding that house. 2425. Atta boy. I, I, I don't, so confusing. The emotions right now are very, very confusing. Cause I'm like, I hated the way Abby handled that situation. Like handle things. What she did to Joel and to Jesse and almost to Tommy. But also, like, here she is caring for this kid. Like, you know, being a good caretaker, like almost an older sister to Lev. I don't know, this is very weird. I want to hate her, but also, like, I don't want Lev to be alone. Let's wear graffiti. Does that mean fireflies? Definitely not. Nothing I recognize, at least. This one was 17. The last one. If the fireflies are still out there. Yeah. What do you think they're up to? I don't know. The goal was always to restore society. I mean, there's all sorts of ways to go about it. Let's see. Yeah. I mean, they chose a pretty morally unjust way to go about it with Ellie. Looks abandoned. Mm -hmm. All the other houses. Keep searching. Hmm. Twenty four twenty five Constance. This is the place. Okay, but there's nothing here. We don't know that yet. I'm shocked that Abby is looking for the fireflies. I guess that was really her home. I painted the indoors to look like the outdoors, but plants don't look like that. It's more like a, a child's dream version of the outdoors. In the old world, it'd be common for them to decorate kids' rooms like this. My dad painted a, a colorful jungle for me. <laughs> oh. Kara would have loved that. I bet she would have. Teenage room here. Very typical.
Got board games. Future tank. Panda. Patrol. <laughs> Perfect pitch. I was hoping they'd have some like real, uh, like board games that I'd recognize, but I guess I can't do that. Maybe there's another way in. Are you being positive? <laughs> I'm trying to be helpful. You're always helpful. Very sweet. Well, I feel like we're gonna have something. If we're still collecting things, then something's coming. Looks like we've looked everywhere. Now what? Now what? I think we've looked basically everywhere. Lev, I think we're done here. No, wait. In here. You find something? Oh. Scratches. Scooch. Hmm. What do you want to bet there's going to be some clickers down here? <laughs> Hello? Doesn't look like a uh, fireflies hideout. It's been a while since anyone's been here. Unfortunately, I have to agree with you. There's a lot of bunks here. Pretty nice barracks, all things considered. Yeah. Hmm. They were here for a while. They're definitely stocking us up for something. That's the shower, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. Wow, weird. I guess I would never know even about a, sh a shower. <sighs> guess they've got solar. This be. Is this frequency currently in use? This is. Do you see a call sign anywhere? Oh, a what? It's a short list of numbers and letters. Hmm. Okay. This is Abby from Santa Barbara. Can anyone hear me? Standing by. Is anyone out there? What's this? Are frequencies. Is this frequency currently in use? This is Abby from Santa Barbara. Is anyone out there? Are these other Firefly outposts? I don't know. 
Can anyone hear me? Hello? Is this frequency currently in use? This is Abby from Santa Barbara. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Love looks like he's uh, been through this before with Abby. Hello, this is Abby from Santa Barbara. Can anyone hear me? If anyone can hear me, please reply. Please answer. Hi, Abby. We got a clear signal on you. Where in Santa Barbara are you calling from? Who are they? Um, 24, 25 Constance. Uh, we got a tip about a base, but there's no one here. We're looking for fireflies. I'm a, I'm a firefly. <sighs> I think she said that in a long time. I was part of the Salt Lake outpost. Who ran that facility? The music. Dr. Jerry Anderson. It's like the actual. Well, how about that? We pulled everyone back from the satellite stations and brought them back here to home base. How many of you are there? More about. 200 strong now. 100. More every month. Wow, the fireflies are actually there. I mean, you're about to get two more. How do we find you? Get to Catalina Island. Approach the large domed building in Avalon. We'll wow. Find you. Okay. Okay, we'll see you soon. Over and out. Looking forward to it. Good luck, Abby from Santa Barbara. Over and out. <laughs> Come on, let's get back to the sailboat. I feel like we're about to find something. Uh, Fine. That's not going to be so easy getting there. Uh, what was that? Why do you make me repeat whenever I'm wrong? Because it makes me feel better. <laughs> and because it happens so rarely. They're acting like siblings. Ah, I feel like there's something coming. We better stock up. Ah, I knew it! I knew it! Who are they? Wait a second. No, 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 no! God. No, no, no. Oh, I'm killing now. Fire up. Who are they? I'm so thrown. Like, I thought this game was over, and now here we are, a whole ex other section back with Abby. Wait, what are you doing? Wait, wait. Oh, ugh. fuck, man. Who are these people? You're fine. Get that little one. Don't you fucking touch him! Oh my god! Oh shit. What the hell catch him? Do they know who she is? here <laughs> i really i'm just like damn i thought the game was over with ellie at the ranch i didn't think she was gonna go after abby oh my god ellie ellie made it and now abby isn't coming back We're gonna have to rescue Abby if she wants to kill Abby. Right 
2425 constants. Yeah, that's gotta be it. she get up to the street from here hmm. beautiful setting very very different from like <laughs> what we uh we've had most of the game be in seattle got a little cookie cooking station and everything here Oh, that's very satisfying. I like that you actually got footprints in the sand. It's so weird being in this like, in this uh, setting after being in rainy Seattle for so long. I can't believe they sailed on that all the way here. <laughs> I like, what's gonna happen now? I mean, I don't know. I don't. <laughs> this really isn't shaping up what I expected this game to be in a lot of ways. Here we go. Come on, she can't, she can't make it up here? Okay. I'm asking the same thing. I'm here, and Santa Barbara proper is that way. I'm just, that's so weird. I really thought, like, yeah, we still have ways to go. Oh. I was kind of wondering when it ended, when like we got to the farm, I was like, man, we haven't had zombies in a while. Like, it seems like there should be more zombies at some point. You know, we ended off with just like a big fight against people, but like, you know, this is a zombie game too. Makes sense now. That's why, you know, we hadn't gotten to uh, the end of the game. <laughs> I know I told you I'd wait for you here, but it's not safe. Rattlers are all the all through the woods. I can't risk getting chained up again. I'll be in that place where I told you, ping pong ball joke. I miss your laugh. I hope you got out okay. I wonder if the Rattlers are the, the people that um, grabbed Abby. where the clicker is. It's creeping me out because I can hear it. Nice and loud. Where the fuck is it? <laughs> oh, crap. Well, now all the zombies are coming after me. Oh, it's one of the runner things. Damn it. 
Whoops. <laughs> My bad. I kind of forgot what the, the hit button was for a second. Back to it. Seems like we need to get over this fence somehow. Yeah, that seems like the right direction. Maybe not, maybe this isn't the right direction? Be surprised if there's more uh zombies in this household oh yeah any more of you love to draw them out but <laughs> i got to go in the house first <laughs> must have been so beautiful and it's like before the um you know apocalypse <laughs> look at the rubber ducky that's cute <laughs> got another trade card that's cool Future Alliance, CBD 73. It's been a while since we've collected trade cards. <laughs> for that. Oh, <laughs> 
Where are they? with you Ellie. That was scary. I swear to God, Abby. These infected killed you. <laughs> I gotta get out of here. Yeah, we're gonna check for some more bullets first though. I used everything there. Mom, I'm gonna go talk to the Rattlers. I'm sorry I'm telling you like this, but I don't want you to stop me. We're starving. We can't leave the area with you and Abuela like you are. It's only a matter of time before they find us. If I can join them, we could all be protected. I know this is scary, but I love you and I'm willing to do whatever I need to keep you both safe. Arnie. Oof. Okay, yeah, these, it must be the, uh, the Rattlers that took Abby in love. Line around somewhere. Okay, maybe I didn't. Ah, here we go. Okay, and Let's see if we can make some replacements. <laughs> nope. Darn. Okay, well, that's not great. Okay, let's see. Maybe now we can. Okay, better. I saw the window somewhere. Ah, there we go. Where am I? There's gotta be a street around here. That was really cool. Okay. Santa Barbara's downhill. 24, 25, Constance. All right. We'll keep heading down. She has to be down there. Well, she was. Who knows now? I just hear a zombie. I heard something. Can 
curious if I'm... Oh? Ah. Yes. There's somebody down here. Not very good. I am running out of bullets. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. Well, that at least got rid of the zombies. Also, all of my bullets. Hope to find more soon. I make more bullets? Well, we have two left, so I hope that's enough. <laughs> the FedEx truck. <laughs> it's funny. Okay, so we can't just climb on the FedEx truck. Very dramatic. <laughs> she just went flying off that cliff. <gasps> also, that cliff was not very tall, so, you know. Oh, damn, I gotta kill him again. Okay. Ah, oh, fuck me. Oh, you're still alive. that again. <laughs> it's gotta be down here, right? Like, where else did we go? Oh, I can probably just walk between the two cars. Silly me, you could totally just walk through here. My dumb ass is like, there's, it's, oh god, oh no. Oh. <gasps> oh, that looks painful as hell. Oh god. Oh no. Oh shit. That can't be good hanging upside down while bleeding like that. Oh, oh Ellie. And she talked about in her journal hanging from the rope. And here she is. Oh, the Rattlers. Abby. I found you. I found you. No. See? We got a live one. Uh. This bitch is fucked up. Oof. <laughs> That's a lot of blood. Uh, can we please just say we're done for the day? Yeah. Yeah, get that thing down. Let's reset the trash. Really, man? I wonder what they meant by she wonder if she'll last a month. It's not like <gasps> oh god! Did he get bit? Oh. No, 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 no. I'm good. Are you sure? <laughs> Something funny? Looks like you shit your pants. 
fuck you say? You little bitch. Oh. <laughs> you, you like funny, huh? What are you doing, Ellie? Come on. We don't need this. No, man, she's fucked up anyway, man. Come on. Oh, that's not gonna work on Allie. Oh, oh, oh. That was a mistake. Oh. Damn. You shouldn't have done that. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. You said Abby. You're looking for an Abby, right? We picked one up uh, a couple months ago. Months? Yeah, sure. No big girl. A blonde. Arms like mine. She had a, a scrawny kid with cuts by his mouth. I can't believe it's been months since then. Yeah, yeah that's her. You let me go. I'll tell you where she is. <laughs> Are we bringing out Joel's strategy again? I guess we can't. That infection takes over. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> She's in a holding cell at our camp. Where is that? Head that way till you hit the railroad track. That'll lead you to a resort. We keep them in the tall, round building. She's gonna shoot him, isn't she? I swear. Oh, I knew it. And she's still not done yet. So close to losing her life. I just don't think this is what Joel would want. Trophy. Tracks to resort. Tall round building. Tracks to resort. Tall round building. She can't be doing well. Heat. The injury. Oh. She looks really, really skinny, too. Fuck. Over here! Aim for his leg! We'll go back! Is that a gun? He's got a gun! Oof. Shit. People are brutal. Right. Did he get a gun? Tell the others to search the area. Make sure he's the only one that got out. Watch out for infected. Yeah. I find out anyone helped him. They're going in the fucking pool. Waste. He was acting up for a while. <gasps> this is the third this month. You ready to put more people on the gate? People on the gate need to do their fucking jobs. Go look around. I want to know he was alone. <laughs> Shut it. Oh god, that was too close. Quiet. <laughs> okay. Where are the others? Oh, fuck, they've got a dog. Ah, God damn. Damn. Oh god. Not dogs again. Oh man, okay. So yeah. Better be stealthy, I guess. I should probably take out everybody and then maybe the one with the dog. Oh fuck. Why do I keep doing that? Don't. 
Come on, hurry. Let me go after the one in the house first, I think. I think it's just the dude and the dog left. Sorry, doggo. I didn't want to kill him, but I don't know how you can avoid it. Anyways, moving on. We've killed a lot, a lot of dogs at this point. We're just gonna, I'm just gonna have to accept it. I mean, I will keep attempting to see if there are ways that I can not kill the dogs, but if it comes down to it, I will kill the dogs. Oh, there's some zombie stuff in here. That's not good. That's what I wanted. Yeah, there's a lot of them. All right. We will attempt to do stealth through here. Partially because I just don't have very many weapons right now. This might be way too far away.
I'm going to try and draw somebody over here. I got something. I'll see what it was. The fuck, where? There's somebody here, but I don't know where. Don't know what it was. Please, it's empty. Who sees me? God damn it, who? It's gotta be this guy. Oh, there's a bunch over there. Oh, jeez, he's right here. All right, we got him in the end. Yeah. These silencer bolt uh, guns are very useful. Check it out. You got it. Someone got her. Someone's out there. Comb this entire area. Dog's gonna see me. <gasps> Fuck me. I'm sorry, puppy. Nice try. I'm sorry, doggy. Coward. I choose not to? Please, please. Take it easy. Just take it easy. 
All right, all right. I don't think I can choose not to do this. I think I have to. Well, I might have let her go, but it doesn't seem like I have a choice here. I'm sorry to the dog too, but <laughs> you're just gonna get me caught. Oh fuck, my side. I think we got everybody, right? These are the tracks, right? Okay, yeah. We're going this way. Okay. Tracks to the resort. Don't mind me, just drinking tea out of my uh, Mandalorian Grogu cup. Isn't that a cute? Isn't that adorable? Choose your own path. <laughs> Anyways, back to this game. Rabby didn't, or Allie did not make the choice I probably would have picked, but you know, she made a choice. I'm very curious how this is all gonna play out because it seemed to me that the message was revenge just, you know, creates more violence and loss. But now, I mean, Ellie's left behind her cozy home. So, like, yeah, how is this going to end? Oh, my God, that's a lot of them. Damn. What are they doing with all these people? There's the building. It's a tall round building. How do I get in there? Not that way, okay. Hmm. Do I need to go through this building, maybe? Nope. Seem like it. It must be over the train somehow. slow. <laughs> Run a little bit faster, hon. Please. Okay, not that way. Please, I really wish you would just run properly. Come on. I'm just trying to figure this out. She's going like an inch. I got a kilometer an hour. Hmm. Oh, you know what? Under the train. There we go. Can't 
feel anything. Fuck that. I promised you my Oh, not a thing. Okay. I thought I could release this guy, but Go around. I think that's uh not a thing. Me. This was definitely not the move. Right. Leaving you alone. There might have been a way to release him. Do you get free? Oh, I've already done this one. <laughs> oh, bad. Oh no, I don't have any, I don't have enough stuff for anything. All right, we're gonna keep going. <laughs> See if I can find anything. I think I killed everybody already. Oh my god, a train card. Oh, that's cool. Spark bug. Some kind of weird noise. That's like chanting or singing or something. Maybe I can get 
get out through there. La Forteza. Okay. Well, I thought there might be more people here, but I guess not. It's all around building. There it is. Okay. So there is music. Crazy. Are they dead? <laughs> There's a pile of bodies here. Okay. I got her! Right in here! Okay. Okay, I think I got them all. <laughs> Yikes! Yeah, that wasn't great. <laughs> that was definitely not ideal strategy.
Are there more of them? I feel like I saw somebody else around here. For now, at least. Definitely a bunch of clickers and stuff in the uh, down there, though. Well, let's see what this reads. I'm curious what happened to the the one who at the house who ran away to like save her parents or his parents. Jenny, sending along some extra beef, grapefruit, and potatoes I just got. They've been impressed with how many strays I've captured and wanted to reward me. We're seeing the best crop we've had since we settled here. Please make sure my mom gets fat, fatty cuts. She looked too skinny last time I saw her. Pat. What the hell are they doing with the people? Really loading us up with stuff right now. There'd be more here. person is in a very inconvenient spot so we're gonna go around and uh see if we can find another way fuck where is that coming 
coming from? Cole? Hey, you heard? Go see what's up. On it. Someone got him! There's someone here! Be the last one. <laughs> I made some mistakes there and used up all my stuff. before we go back out there. Damn. No health kits left.
All right, into the next stage. There gonna be more of them over here. Jeez. Oh no. Oh god, that always gets me when they go for the eyes. Oh! Wow, that was intense. Who are these people? Like, what were they doing to all these people? Abby, she's bit. Keep back. Hey, don't put that fucking thing in hey, me. Hey, 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 hey. Abby tried to escape. She's down in the pillars. The pillars? Head down to the beach. You won't miss it. She's probably already dead. <sighs> I'll leave it at that, but she won't. Oof. Oh, this is getting even more intense. It's definitely not over yet. <sighs> Ali's gonna kill herself doing this. Can we not load up on guns before we left? Really? Where are you? <sighs> this music. And I thought the ranch was the ending of the game. Obviously not. There was much to go, of course. Like this is a this feels like a real proper like finale, or at least we're getting there. a lot of shooting. I hope love is okay. This is just like the wolves and the scars all over again. Everybody just killing each other. Oh, it got real quiet. This really is mirroring what happened on the island. Everything burning to the ground. Everybody dying once again. The screams. Oh, God. Oh, my God. This is disgusting. Abby? This is horrifying. Oh my god. This makes me sick. Okay. She's here somewhere. Is this not her? No. Oh, there she is. She's still alive, but how long has she been like this? God, she has paid for what she did time and time again at this point. Please. Oh my God, she looks horrible. Oh, how could anybody? Anybody be okay with this? Oh, look 
the burns, like, in the day, it must be horrible being stuck like that. I can't believe she can even stand. She looks so different. Oh no, Lev. Is, is he still alive? Oh. This makes me so horrified that anybody could do this. What is what is Ellie gonna do? Like I am like This is so upsetting that like I I can't help but tear up right now. I can't believe I like See, Abby, who has just gone through this hor- like, regardless of what Abby has done, going through this horrible thing. Like, being- having that done to you, but not only, like, experiencing the pain of hanging like that, but to watch the person you were, like, caring for, this young child that you've sacrificed so much for, like, also dying across from you and going through that pain, like, I think that would wipe- I think it, watching this would- I don't know, I, I feel like it, seeing the pain that they were put through would- Like, how can you contemplate revenge at this point? I know, Ellie has gone through so much to be here and given up so much and lost so much because of this, but... She's going to the other boat. What is she gonna do? I can't let you leave. I'm not doing this. They both look like they've been to hell and back. No. Oh. Ellie. Ellie. Don't go there. Please don't go there. This is not... He's not a part of this. You made him a part of this. Okay. I'm so tense right now, like... Okay. <sighs> Ellie. This is not right. This is not right. <laughs> This just feels so wrong. <laughs> oh. This feels so wrong. I do not feel good about this. <laughs> like, look at them both. Every cut, I don't know, just... I almost can't do it. Like, I don't even want to... Ugh. 
This is like, how is she still standing? She moves fast, faster than I expect. I don't feel right about this. Oh. Oh, I can't. Horrible. Come on, Ellie. She is killing herself over this. Like they're both, they're just both losing everything here. I can't believe she's still standing. Like all of the muscle mass she had, like, she is so changed. Same woman. God. <laughs> oh my God, I haven't cried like this. thankful that I didn't go through with it. I know some people might disagree and think that Abby deserves it, but I just, it's not in my nature to like, I don't know, be okay with that kind of killing. And I feel like Abby, I don't, I don't think she needs, you don't have to forgive her, but like, God, she has suffered. Like she has been punished a lot for what she did. And, uh, I just, I can't imagine the lab being left alone. Like, it's just not, I don't think it's what Joel would have wanted. Um, 
And I think it would have, like, killed Ali. I think it would have really destroyed Ali if she went through with it. Like, I don't think there would be any turning back from that for her. It was just the cycle would continue. Like, it's just like God of War. Father, father's, like, or, you know, parent, like, taking away somebody's parent. The, the cycle just... I'm not saying it even well, because that, that scene really destroyed me. That was really hard to watch. Um, just like, yeah, I think the cycle needs to end. Like, like Abby's parent was taken away, and so she took away Allie's parent. And then if Ellie took away Lev's parent, then Lev would try and take away, like, Dina's parent. I mean, um, JJ's parent. It just would never end. <sighs> Like they are all, everybody has lost already. Everybody has lost a lot. Everybody has been punished for what they did. Yeah, oh, man, <laughs> that destroyed me. I really hope Ellie can, I don't know, is Dina even gonna be here? What, like, you know, Ellie had this chance at a family at some measure of happiness after everything she's lost. I don't, I don't know if she can go back to that at this point. I don't think she can. I mean, everything's gone from the house. It's been months, so I don't know. I mean, she's just, she, like, isn't that what we want for Ellie in the end? Like, for her to be happy? And I think, more than anything, that just, just like, <laughs> she's lost everything now. Like, that makes me really heartbroken that she lost Joel. And now, like, she's lost Dina. And JJ. It really, really breaks my heart. Like this beautiful home they had here. It was like all the violence, all the terrible things. But they still had this beautiful home and a chance at a life. And now it's gone. Was it, wor was it really worth it? Your stuff is still here. Everything else is gone. Her stuff is still here. And there are a lot of memories in here. The music that was playing. Doesn't sound right. Oh, her hand. She can't, can't play anymore. She's literally, I can't even talk. I'm so upset right now. She's lost everything. She can't even play the guitar anymore.
you drinking? Coffee. Where'd you get that? Uh, those people that came through last week. Oh. A little embarrassed as to what I had to trade to get it, but not bad. I had Seth under control. Yeah, I know. And you need to stop harassing Jesse about my patrols. Okay. Uh, Dana. Is she your girlfriend? No. No, she... That was just one kiss. It doesn't mean anything. She just... I don't know why she did that. But you do like her. <sighs> so stupid. I have no idea what that girl's intentions are, but... But I do know that she would be lucky to have you. You're such an asshole. <laughs> I'm not trying to. I was supposed to die in that hospital. <laughs> My life would have fucking mattered. But you took that from me. Somehow, the Lord gave me a second chance at that moment. I would do it all over again. I knew you would say that. I cared so deeply for her. I don't think I can ever forgive you for that. I think she would have one day, given the time. The time to grow up. Maybe the time to have her own child. I would like to try. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> yeah, I want to cry and start crying all over again. For everything they lost. I'll see you around. Yep. Can't stop crying. <laughs> Thank you.
Oh my god. <laughs> it's actually over this time. <laughs> yeah, that was definitely the fucking ending. <laughs> Holy. I don't even know where to start. Oh my god. <laughs> I think that's the most like Halloween. I feel like that's the best word to describe this, but this story was just like it completely hollowed out my soul. <laughs> I see, I can understand why a lot of people really didn't like this. It's a really tough pill to swallow. You can, I, I, this game is very polarizing. And uh, there are a few reasons that I think are dumb reasons to dislike this. I mean, if you didn't like it because of the transgender and non-stereotypical female characters, dumb reason not to like this. If you didn't like it because you thought the story was shit, well, to be honest, I think this is incredible storytelling. Uh, but I can understand why a lot of people didn't like it for the story, like the way it, le it doesn't leave you with that in a good place in the end. Um, everything about this game is unhappy. <laughs> Literally everything. Like there is not a ray of hope. They give you a tiny bit of hope and they take it all away every time. <laughs> so I can understand people not liking that, being unsatisfied with the ending. But I, I think the story writing is brilliant. You know, like, we are very, very few stories move away from the, like, <laughs> move away from the happy ending, you know, like, the typical, stereotypical story arc of, like, you know, beginning, things get tough, uh, climax, whatever, like, things going from really bad but ending out good in the end. Very few stories go away from that and, uh, this one told a story brilliantly. Like, I think the story is unique. It's it's really well told, the way they develop the characters. Um, and I think the message is not a happy message whatsoever, but I think it's a really interesting message that you get away from this. Like, you know, Ali made these choices to go deeper and deeper down this dark path, and she lost everything because of it. She had a chance to do to have a happier life and she decided not to take it i mean it's just violence breeds more violence and i'm glad in the end that she chose to turn away from uh killing abby i mean i don't know if some people disagree with that choice like god damn how can you like it's okay if you don't forgive abby i don't necessarily forgive abby either i mean i didn't i think you know she made the choice to go she started down this path in the first place i, I I understand how tough it must have been to lose her dad the way she did and to feel angry at Joel, but like, come on, they were gonna kill Allie. They were gonna, like a young child, they were gonna take away her life and not give her any choice. Like, you know, yes, they were doing it for the greater good, but can you really morally make that choice? I don't know. Like, anyways, can you really, uh, this, Okay, maybe you say it's for the greater good, it's for the best, like, they were saving humanity. I mean, maybe that's true, but at the same time, like, I don't know, then can you fault Joel for making the other choice? Like, for deciding to save this person's life? Um, if, if you were willing to kill somebody, like, can you really fault him for willing, being willing to kill somebody? Uh, so many people to save her? Like, at the same time, like, maybe you would have gotten a cure, but... Who knows if it would have saved humanity, I mean. Yeah, the world is still in pieces and shambles and... Anyways, if, if one person was able to develop immunity, who knows, other people might have naturally, but... Uh, yeah, so, Abby started this journey. You know, she was involved in the decision to, like, kill Ellie, and so I feel like... You know, she sought revenge, but it's like, can you really... Yeah, can you really fault Joel's choice if you were willing to make similar ones. Um, so she started this whole thing, and so I don't necessarily forgive her for that. Um, but yeah, whether you forgive her or not, I mean, she suffered plenty. She lost everybody she loved, and then, you know, hanging, like that beach scene is just 
horrifying. I feel like that is worse, a worse, a worse experience than death. Um, and she'd love to think about like Ellie was would have left, like I said before, would have continued the cycle, like would have left Lev without any family, and then I'm sure Lev would have sought revenge. Like it's just never ending. So I think she made the right choice not to kill Abby. And also, I just like that was a painful thing a scene to watch. Like, oh my god, that was hard to watch. <laughs> um, Abby killing, or the two of them fighting. Like the way they both just were completely destroyed. Their bodies, their souls. Like they both were just destroyed. Um, yeah, <laughs> I can barely like get my thoughts into like a coherent. Uh, I can barely, like, I'm not barely coherent trying to explain this because it's just like so much happened. Um, anyways, yeah, I don't even know. I don't even know what to say. Like, it was just so much. Um, and the ending was so unsatisfying, but I also feel like it was kind of poetic, you know? Like, leaving the guitar behind, like, literally, she has lost everything now. And especially, like, we have that scene of. You know, like, it, there was a chance for her and Joel to re, like, to start over. And it, it was stolen away, and then she had a chance to start over, and she chose not to take it. She should, chose to start away. Anyways, I think it's very poetic. I think the character development is incredible. I, yeah, the story is, like, really hard to put down, and it really gets your emotions. So, whatever you think about this game, whether you dislike it, I can respect that, but uh, it is brilliant storytelling. Um, wow. Yeah, that was a lot. <laughs> that was just a lot, a lot. Um, I feel so much for Ellie right now. I mean, we love, like, Ellie and Joel, we love those characters. Like, a sincere thanks from all the dogs to Bruce Straley for his instrumental role in the development of The Last of Us and his years of contribution to all of Naughty Dog's successes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> sincere thank you to all the dogs. Oh, God. They understand us. Um, anyways, yes, I feel so sad for Ellie because, yeah, I love her. We love Ellie. Like, don't get me wrong. All that time that I was, like, we were playing as Abby and I was, like, kind of, you know, empathizing in some ways with her because it's hard not to empathize with the character that you are like literally playing as in some ways but um like i love ellie and i was so sad to lose joel and to lose their relationship and their dynamic um and so i feel really really sad for ellie losing literally everything good in her life um even if it was a lot to do with some of the choices she made like she made some pretty truly terrible choices um it saddened me to see Tommy as well losing everything like he lost his entire kind of like everything he cared about too with Joel and pushing away Ellie you know he's pushed away Dina and JJ um his partner like he's also lost everything yeah, I feel like a lot of people in this just ended up in really bad places and everybody, so many people died. My god. Like, just as you emphasize, to start to like a character, they're gone. Oh, and just the sheer level of violence. Like, I need to, cl like, a deep cleanse from violence after this because, you know, a lot of video games have violence, um, but not in such a realistic, intense, like, horrific way. I don't know. Like, the violence in other games is not nearly as... Hor like deeply horrifying as it is in this one. Uh, they really get into like the darker side of humanity in this show, in this set, uh, in this in this game. Um, I am very curious to see where they go next because they did leave it as a very open-ended uh, ending, and so I do feel like they can do a third game. Uh, there was parts of this where I was wondering, like, huh, what are they going to do for a third game? This seems wrapped up. Well, especially when I thought, like, the ranch was the ending of this game. <laughs> wow, what a happy moment that was just. I really thought that was the... I was like, this is the end. She made her choice not to go. And she's going to live her days happy in the ranch with JJ and Dina. And she'll find a way to get that feel better. Like, to move on and have a good life. And she'll remember Joel fondly and really you know, carry him forward with her, but he, she will have a life. Nope. 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 Uh, that was naive of me, I guess. 
Definitely did not. I should have known after the first game that things could not end on such a positive note and such an easy note. Like, of course there had to be more. I don't know. I just was like, this seems like an end. Any other, any other game, any other story, that would be the ending. Like, that is a very, like, normal way to end a story like this. Um, not in, not in The Last of Us. I am so curious how they're going to make this into a TV show because, I mean, the people who aren't fans of it or haven't played the game, all the like non-gamers who've been watching the show, like, oof, this is going to be a shocking <laughs> revelation when they get to this season between Joel dying, like everything that happens. It's just, that's truly horrifying. It is truly horrifying. <laughs> wow. Well, I'm actually very glad I did play this. Um, because, yeah, like, it's an incredible story and it's worth playing even if you don't like it. Even if you don't agree with the choices made for the story, I think it is, like, incredible uh, the way they told the story. So, anyways, I'm really focused on the story because I think that's really what carries this game. Um, the combat is fun enough, but I feel like it's the story that really brings you in, like, the character development. Um, the twists that I did not see coming. God, wow. <laughs> I wonder how many people feel like um, Ellie betrayed Joel by not killing Abby. I just don't really see it that way. I don't think it was a betrayal against Joel. I just don't, I don't think Joel would have wanted any of this for Abby, I mean Ellie. Um, I think he also would have wanted the cycle to end. That's my, that's my theory anyways, because what he cared, the only thing he really cared about with was Ellie. Like he cared more than anything about Ellie and this did not, like benefit Ellie in any way. The, like going for this revenge would have killed Ellie in the end, I think, in, in some way, if she had actually killed Abby. And I don't think Joel would have wanted that. Like he he went through so much, he lost his own life. He went through so much to protect her. And uh, so I don't see it as a betrayal of Joel at all. I mean, she went really far with it. Like she gave up a lot to get revenge for him. And yeah, I still think, uh, yeah, I think, oh, wow, yeah. Oh, okay, well, that was a lot. I'm still reeling. I feel like this has been just me like rambling at the end in here. It's probably a lot less organized than usually, than my usual outros to a game, but it's just, that was a lot. Like, it was just a lot. And I'm like, I just, I'm a little bit in shell shock from the end of this game. So, um, yeah, I'd love to hear in the comments what you guys thought about this. Um, about the game in general, but and especially about the ending, about Ellie choosing to walk away. Uh, do you agree with me? Do you completely disagree? I'd love to hear your thoughts. I mean, I think we can have an interesting conversation about this. So, yeah, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Um, just before me. I don't know what else to say. Uh, I guess cherish the uh, good things you have in your life. Be thankful we're not in a zombie apocalypse, and uh, go find some ray of hope for yourself. <laughs> I think that's the only way I can end this video. Um, yeah, thank you all for joining me on this uh, playthrough. It's been really uh, a very, like, this is this is different than any other game I've played. Um, and I am glad that I played it with you guys and that we had this experience. So thank you for joining me and uh, I will see you guys next time. Bye. Well, that's a beautiful screen now, loading screen. That's quite changed from, I mean, the loading screen finally makes sense <laughs> when it was originally with uh, that, the like the bow on the beach, like, wow, what a incredible symbol, but beautiful looking now. Um, kind of a big contrast to what actually happened, but I feel like this is the light, like a, a sign of like, Ellie made the right choice and now there's a little bit of light in this world and yeah, anyways.